Well, I finished cutting the tenons and uh, fitted them to the mortises that were in the legs. And uh, it came out all right. And uh, you can see I have the square inside the, the uh, frame here. So I've got both, uh, both sides squared up. And the joints are pretty good. Uh, I don't have the clamp on them right now to uh, they'll tighten up a little bit more so the next thing to do is to uh, dovetail the the back here so I've cut a piece of maple that I had uh, five inches and uh, I left an eighth of an inch on either side since it's going to be half blind dovetail so that leaves me five eighths of an inch in uh, either direction there so the dovetails will be uh, five eighths of an inch uh, high so uh, I'm gonna mark them out and cut the dovetails right now so uh, here I've laid out the dovetails nothing uh, particularly fancy uh, here uh, should be strong enough and they're not seen anyway so uh, I lay out the other side and saw them out Sawing out the uh, dovetails now, or the tails to be exact. Chopping out the uh, dovetails now. This is a, uh, a vise, a dovetail vise I made years ago. It helps uh, support the chisel. So it goes straight down. And uh, I've sawed these off and use a hoping saw to clear out most of the material and then just a matter of chopping out the last uh, few pieces. I'm pretty sure this is hard maple that uh, I had laying around in the storage. But it was there, so I picked it up. And uh, so that looks like it. So I've uh, marked off the uh, pins on here and now I'm uh, scribing a line on the uh, back as to the depth of the uh, apron on the back, which is uh, 7 eighths of an inch. And then I'll put a pencil line on there because I can't see the scratch line anymore. So that's the next step and then saw them out.
could use better light right here. Or my eyes are getting worse. So now I'm chopping out the, the dovetails. Just a matter of uh, chopping out the waste because they're half lined. The rear corners here have to be uh, chiseled as well because the saw, of course, doesn't get in there. Well, after uh, some fitting of the uh, dovetails and uh, more fitting than I'll admit uh, to anyway, it uh, took me a while to pair them off. I uh, wanted them uh, nice and tight and uh, had cut them uh, a little bit too close, so I had to pair quite a bit off. But anyway, they fit uh, pretty good at the moment, and it's square with the... Uh, the side so uh, I think the next thing to do is to work on the uh, rear two legs and uh, the hinge uh, that holds them on. I'm also uh, thinking of putting a drawer, a small hidden drawer right here for uh, cards or whatever uh, there would be. Also there needs to be a uh, there's a dovetailed cross brace that goes in here. Maybe I'll do that next and then uh, start on the legs. Also, uh, probably glue blocks in the, in the corners, although uh, this seems quite, uh, quite strong at the moment. Sawing out the uh, dovetail for the uh, center support here. This is probably a good spot to quit for today. I put in the uh, cross brace, um, a little bit challenging, so three quarters of an inch. So I mortised it uh, into the back and uh, dovetailed it into the front. So uh, I'm reasonably happy with uh, the construction so far. So tomorrow we'll begin on the rear legs and the hinges.